teachers, it's Kiki from Kiki in Her Classroom and I am a fourth year second grade teacher in California. Today what I have for you all is a plan with me video. So what I'm going to be doing is sharing my favorite teacher planner and I'm not going to be planning lessons because it's way too early for that and we don't even fully know for sure what's going on next year. But what I can do is start to decorate my planner, adding stickers, washi tape, all of that stuff so that when the school year starts, I don't feel like I'm all crazy and hectic and I don't have time to decorate my planner. So what I'm doing this year is I'm gonna decorate it ahead of time so that when the school year starts, all I have to do is add in my lessons. I want to share with you all first what my favorite teacher planner is. I know there are a lot out there. I have used a couple, not all of them, but I know that once I started using the Happy Planner, I will never go back. Keep in mind, I am not sponsored by them at all. I just literally love their products. I also love their sticker packs, and I just think they have the cutest stuff, and they come out with the cutest designs every year. So I am a 100% Happy Planner type of teacher. Something that I also love about the happy planners are that you can take out the pages and put other pages in it has like a binding on the side where you can just take out the page and put it back in which i really really love i also love that happy planner sells like different extension packs that you can add to your planner so they'll have like extra notebook pages that you can just insert into there. They have little bookmarks and different things that you can just put into your planner, which makes it really, really great to customize and make it perfect for you. So it's time for me to show you what planner I have for this upcoming school year. It's a popular one. You've probably seen it around, but it says the world was hers for the teaching. There's a bit of a glare there. So I'll switch the camera and it has this like little school. I just think it's so cute and they have so many designs. This was just the one that I really, really loved, but there's a ton. There's even a cheetah one that's like so cute, um, which is what I just love about them. It's like every year they come out with these new cute designs and I just love how colorful it is and wait until you see the inside of this thing. So here is the front of the planner. Like I said, it says the world was hers for the teaching. I love how colorful it is around the borders and that little schoolhouse is just adorable. When you open it, you have your front page, which asks for your room number, your school, and your address. And I'm just kind of gonna flip through really quickly to show you guys. I'm not gonna spend too much time on here, but I do love that it has the whole academic year calendar. This is like for a substitute. I don't typically ever leave my planner, so I've never really used this, but some people might. And this is really awesome. Here you have the entire year spread out by month with each day. This was something that I added. It's like one of those bookmarks, like I was telling you, you can take it out and then you can put it back in there by just pressing down on the sides. And it's back in. Each month has a very adorable cover. And then it also has a checklist for the month. It has birthdays for you to put your student birthdays. And it also has a place for you to put anything that is important. Now, I already got started on decorating my planner. So you'll see that August, the month of August is done. I added all of my stickers, my washi tapes. And then I also even decorated the weeks in August. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip through this quickly so that you can see. you enjoyed that look at the planner now what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and start adding some washi tapes and stickers onto the planner so I'm gonna kind of take you step by step through my process and what I do first and how I decorate it so I hope you guys enjoy 
So typically what I like to do when I start planning is go through my sticker books and find um, a pack of stickers that I'm interested in using. So we are working on the week of September and I want to go with that fall theme because I know already by September my apartment's going to be decorated and I'm going to be all fall vibes. So what I already liked in my seasonal sticker pack were these very adorable fall stickers. And so I can already see that there's some blues in there, lots of orange, um, there's even some light pinks. And so I kind of get an idea for what washi tape would look good with this week. So I'm already thinking I'm gonna use these stickers and then I also like to mix and match. So I'll probably use these and then I'm looking through another seasonal pack of stickers that I have. I love these characters. I think they're so beautiful. And so I might even include some of those. Another pack that I'm going through are these rad teacher stickers. And so I'm just looking for stickers that are going to complement those colors. And I already see a ton. So look at these fall colors. There's a ton here. Oh, I love this cheetah. <gasps> okay, I'm kind of feeling like this will look really good together. So I'm probably going to be using these teacher inspired stickers along with these fall inspired stickers. Once you know the stickers you're going to be using and the color scheme, then I like to look through my washi tapes. Now I have quite a few washi tapes here. These are all from Walmart. I'm probably going to use some of these because they're new, but I also have, sorry for the mess. <laughs> I also have a bag of washi tapes that a follower actually gifted to me and then some other ones that I've added in there. What I'm going to do is I have this one that I have my eye on. It is this cheetah printed I don't know if it'll focus, but this cheetah printed washi tape that I've been dying to use. So I'm just gonna throw that one on there because that will definitely get used. And like I said, I see a lot of blues, which I think would be absolutely gorgeous. So I'm looking for some washi tapes that have some blue in them. Let's see, this one has some gold and it's like a dark blue and it kind of looks good over here. So I might even add that one as an option. I think this one, I'm not sure if I absolutely love this. I think it could work. So let's just go ahead and leave those there. Now that you have your washi tapes and your stickers, it's time to get decorated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my stickers because I always do washi tape first. So I'm going to take my favorite washi tape that I know for sure I'm going to be using, and that's this cheetah one. Something that I always do, I just think it's so cute to put it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just place it. I try to line up as much as I can, and what's so great about washi tape is you can move it and it does not rip your paper. So that's what makes it just that much better. I like to line it up and then I just rip it at the bottom. So I already have that cheetah binding right there, which I absolutely love. And let's see, since I have some other colors, but actually I do wanna use a little bit more of this. So I'm probably gonna take my cheetah again, and I'm just gonna put a random washi tape line in the middle. It's nice sometimes to not have it so uniformed. So I'm just going to include a strip of washi tape right here and just make sure it's lined up as best as you can and there you go that really will just add a pop into my plans i know it's kind of random but it will just work and now i'm looking at my other colors i'm really thinking i'm going to be using maybe this dark blue so what i'm going to do now is just put a piece of this somewhere else pretty random i'm feeling like over here there needs to be something. So I'm just going to include a very small piece. Let's put it down a little more. That's not straight. Right about there. Oops. And like I said, it is not perfect. And what's so great about washi tape is it will not rip your paper. You can pull it off, you can fix it. And I'm kind of going at it from a weird angle. So if it all looks super crooked, I'm sorry about that. But I included a super random piece right there. And um, let's see, I'm feeling like I might not even need this blue washi tape. 
we can kind of set it off to the side if we end up needing it, but it's looking pretty good right now. Now I'm going to go through and look at my stickers. Now we always have a minimum day on Wednesday. So I know that this box is always open for me to add some stuff in there. So I'm going to pull one of these really cute full square um, teacher stickers to put in that box right there. Now I can't decide. I think we need some more color here. So I'm going to go with the work hard and be kind sticker and I'm just going to put it right in here again it might be crooked I can't really tell because I'm working from the side but um I think it'll be cute now I'm looking at other spot other spots of my planner and um I really like this orange I think it's so cute now, I'm not really sure yet what could be important, but I'm sure there will be something. And so I'm just going to put this under Monday because Mondays are always important. And there are some do stickers, which is something I can always come back to and add to once I actually know what my schedule is like. Um, but now I'm looking here. I love that she has this blue outfit. I think that would just be so cute and really bring out those blues. So I'm going to take her and I'm going to add her, let's see. So I kind of just test around and see where I think she would fit best. She covers the Friday, so I don't really like her there. Um, I'm thinking maybe right here. I'm just gonna squeeze her in right here in between those two. And I even have like a little pumpkin that I can add somewhere since it is all fall vibes. And I think the pumpkin would look super cute in that corner. And then I can't forget about these stickers that are just so darling. Of course, this coffee cup we have to find a home for. <gasps> oh my goodness, I almost broke it. Oh no. Let's see if I can get it out in one piece. Okay, we saved it. So I'm gonna take my coffee sticker and we're going to find a home for this. Now I like to include stickers just in random spots. Like I just kind of look at it and where it looks really empty, I'll add a sticker. So it's looking very empty to me over here. So I think that it might even be cute just kind of in the middle right here, just to bring some extra pops of colors. And again, looking at the colors, I, I'm kind of working off of this. I even think that, let's see, maybe another little pumpkin over, or no actually let's add some greenery we can do like a leaf and include that somewhere over here as you can see I'm just like not sticking and I'm just kind of looking and seeing what looks best I even kind of like it right here in between these two stickers especially because that tip keeps lifting and it's driving me insane <laughs> so that'll be perfect there and then oh another really cute sticker is this pink hot cocoa sticker because it matches this and so we can really put that anywhere I kind of like over here close to the end of the week I think that's cute I'm feeling like we could definitely use something over here um even if we put a little sign that says it's fall y'all oh my gosh if I don't rip this sticker we can put this one maybe in the corner right here oh, I kind of like that and hmm, let's see what else can we put there you can always use like the hearts and just add those in different places um, again I'm just searching for where it looks empty where it looks like it might need something right here really spoke to me I really like this pumpkin pie I think the pumpkin pie would be even cute in this corner up here and it's really starting to come together now you have to remember i don't have anything written down yet so once i write in it it'll really look colorful and just bring it all together but at least i have all of the stickers planned out you could definitely add more but for me i think that's enough here is a closer look at the week i know you were kind of far up there but this is what i'm working with y'all <laughs> it's it, we're gonna make do with what we have so here's a closer look
I'm getting ready to do my month of December with you all. So as you can see, it's not decorated. And what I'm starting to do again is look for stickers that I know I want to use. I always go to my seasonal packs first. This one is squad goals, but it's organized by seasonal. And then this one is a seasonal one. And this one is also seasonal. So I just kind of find all of those seasonal Christmas stickers and I know that I want to use some of these in there and I can already see there's obviously the reds, the blues, the greens. I love this pack as well. I think it has some really, really cute things. I'm not going to use my blue stuff because I'm going to save that for January. Um, but there's a lot here that I know for sure I will love to use. So once I have my stickers, I go to my washi tape. Again, I'm just in the mood to use some of my new ones from Walmart. So this one is absolutely catching my eye. It's a red, it's got a little bit of white speckles on it and I just think it's perfect for this month. Looking for something that is green even. Ooh, I think this blue would look really good. Maybe I'll leave the pink as an option, but I'm really liking that blue right now. Also, don't judge me because I use a Ziploc bag, but as you can see, it's just so much easier because I don't have to dump everything out. I can see through it and it just works for me. So again, what I'm going to be doing is first start by adding my washi tapes. Now for the month of December, I also have in mind our school schedule. So I know that we only teach up until the 18th and these two weeks completely are going to be on vacation. So I can put a washi tape through one of them for sure. And then I might put some stickers on the other one. So let's just go ahead and put some washi tape here and just cut it. And then try to line it up as best as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. I definitely like it to be cute, but it'll work. <laughs> okay. So I put a line through our first week of Christmas break and I'm not sure if I'm going to put another line completely. You could do that. I just might try to save them for some big stickers. I might put a piece randomly right here. It's just speaking to me. I don't want it to connect though. I just want it to be a very small piece. I'm gonna go to my stickers. Now I like to use my big stickers for spots that you see are open. Um, anywhere where I know I'm not gonna be needing to put any important dates, I can fill up with stickers. So I'm actually going to put her right here, I think. There's like some little snowflakes from that same pack and I'm just gonna add those just to really fill up that square. I really like this let's be merry sign. So I'm probably going to put this over here. I kind of did it at an angle and then you can even add, so it's not super colorful, just add in something a little extra there. Love these little cups, little coffee cups. So I'm probably going to add those again in a spot where I feel like it's starting to look empty and that is right here. I think this might be really cute to bring some color in. Um, and I'm liking this spot right here. So I'm just gonna place it in there. I'm liking these lights. And you can really string the lights anywhere. I'm kind of liking them here. But you wanna make sure that it closes. Again, it's not perfect, but it will do. I think that's very cute. And you don't want to add too, too much. So I'm getting close to the end here. I kind of like this pink just because it brings out that pink. So I'm just going to add that probably here. So I'm pretty sure I'll probably need to go somewhere around this time of year. And you can even add some of these on the corners. I think I really like her over here in between these two. 
So there is my month of December. Really hope you enjoyed that video. I was planning on showing you all of my sticker packs and all of my washi tape, but I already think this is going to be a little long. So what I'll do is I will share that in another video. Today was just about adding stickers to your happy planner and what happy planner I had for this upcoming school year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that that inspired you to decorate and to just have some peace and relaxing time. I love doing it. It's so relaxing to me. Like whenever I feel like I have a lot on my mind, I'll just like grab all my stickers and washi tape and just decorate. I love decorating. I love decorating my classroom. I love decorating my planner. It brings peace to me. So maybe it'll bring peace to you as well. Really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I hope that you guys have a great day. Thank you again for watching. Bye.